What up, y'all? It's the People's Choice DJ Envy. What do you really know about organ and tissue donation? Well, today we're going to walk around Power 105.1's office and just ask people, what do you know about organ and tissue donations? You know, I hooked up with the New Jersey Sharing Network, and we're going to figure this out. It's all about donating organs. I'm here with my brother, Talent Comedian. So, Talent, what does your religion feel about organ donations? Well, first of, first of all, I'm, I'm probably closest to, like, Baptist, you know what I mean? And um, I actually campaign for it all the time myself. Like, it's very important. I mean, I donate all the time. You know, I'm thinking about taking some out right now, giving it to you. You know what you need? Explain. So if I, I mean, I need a heart. So you got me? Not right now. You know, I got you in the future. I can't. Explain. <laughs> <laughs> I can do right now, but no, I, my religion highly supports organ donation. All right, thank you, Talent. Now we're talking about organ donor. Now, how old is too old for organ donations? Um, I don't think I don't think it should be any age. As long as your organs work, you should be able to donate them. I wouldn't want organs from somebody that's older than 40. There is no age limit for organ donation. New Jersey Sharing Network has successfully procured organs from donors as young as few days to adults in their 90s. A patient's medical history is more important than the age of the donor. If a patient has a normal functioning organ and is in good health, then the organ donation is certainly an option. All right, now, like I said, we're going to be going around the office today. Now we're going to talk to one of the nicest people. Miss Anita, do you know anything about donating organs? Um, I don't know that much about it. I know it's supposed to be a very good thing to do. Very simple to do. Either you can go to the DMV, or you can just look it up on the website, njsharingnetwork.org. You just simply do it, and it's so good. So definitely check out the website. We're still walking through the Power 1051 studios and offices, and we just want to dispel some of the myths about organ donation. You look like you're in good shape. Now, do you think that people who donate and be, become an organ donor should be in good shape or should be on the list? Yeah, I'd hope so. You never know with organ donor. It could be you could be in great shape and need an organ, or you could be in horrible shape, but you definitely should donate. Are you an organ donor by any chance? Uh, this is even perfect. Do you know you can actually save one life? A lot of people think, well, why me? I mean, how can I save one person? But there's over 115,000 people waiting for an organ donor. So why did you decide to become an organ donor? Why not? Simply, why not? Now, with donating organs, do you really think that if you donate an organ and something happens, you go to emergency room, that because you're a donor that maybe they won't try to save you because they'll use your organs? Did you believe that? Sometimes I do, yeah. That's totally not true. That's a myth. They're going to try to save you regardless. They need you. That's just something that you see in movies. So don't ever think that. Do you know how to become an organ donor? Mm, no. You can go to the DMV or hit up the website, njsharingnetwork.org, and I want you to do it right now. There's a computer right now. I need you to get up right now and go do it right now. Now that you know the facts and we dispel some of the myths and some of the rumors about organ donations, it's time to register. You can go to your local DMV or go on the website, njsharingnetwork.org. Be an organ donor. I am. Save some lives.